Hi, um, this is Charlie Calvert and this is the first in a series of videos on using the Visual Studio IDE. In this one we're going to show how to make sure that you have your environment set up to be similar to mine. In particular, I'm using the Visual C Sharp settings and we want to make sure that you're, you are also using those same settings or some of the tips that I give you might not work. Begin by going to the Tools menu, go to Import and Export Settings. From the Tools menu, Import and Export Settings. Click on them and now let's reset all settings. Choose Next. Now let's go ahead and save um, our current settings here. And that way, if some change that I'm making here if it leaves you unhappy, you can revert back to your, cur to your current settings the way they are now. So we'll just go ahead and save those now. Then we're going to choose to set you up with the same settings that I have, which are the Visual C Sharp development settings. So we make sure you select that particular item, then you choose Finish. Now it's gone ahead and reset the settings to Visual C Sharp and also saved our old settings. Now you can choose close, and now all the tips that I give you involving hotkeys, key bindings, menu options will all look the same on your system as they do on mine. Uh, if your layout doesn't look the way I do right now, if for instance you know you might have had the toolbox up here and things aren't quite laid out the way I start with, you can set them back to their default setting by choosing Window, then Reset Window Layout. Window, Reset Window Layout and then WOMP and it goes ahead and sets everything back to this default layout that we have here. Now as a one last thing in this um, video, if you're unhappy with the new settings you can always go Tools, Import and Export Settings, say Import Selected Environment Settings, choose Next. You could again save your current settings, although that would be start to become a little redundant here, but you could if you needed to. So let's skip that step this time and just import new settings, overwriting my current settings. So let's choose Next. Here's the settings we just saved just now a moment ago. And let's choose um, <coughs> Next. And here they give you some options. Do you want to uh, specify which parts of it you want to import? And you can, you know, if you want to do these extra little bits here, you can do them, or you can just leave things at their default, and you choose Finish, and now we're back to the state we were in before I gave you this tip. Um, just wanted to make sure you, we didn't do anything to your system that you couldn't undo. So that's the end of this first video, and this gives you some idea how to set up your Visual Studio environment the same way I have mine set up, so in future videos you'll be able to follow along. Thank you very much.